Hi, I'm Sergeant First Class E.J. Ramos, trumpet player with the United States Army Band, Pershing Zone. Okay, so let's talk about this first part of the etude, which would be the cantabile portion here. It's marked at dotted quarter equals 56, so a slower tempo where 9-8 really want to feel that triplet feeling, and really from that very first dotted quarter tied to that eighth should be singing immediately. We don't want to be stagnant at all through any of this. We need to sing, 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 sing through all of it. Cantabile, very pretty sounding. You need to sing through all this wonderful writing. Um, very important to be careful that you get a good breath every opportunity that you have one. So the phrasing is actually marked very nicely in here. The first two bars, there's a nice phrasing mark, and it kind of follows the, that same pattern. There's some stuff that goes over the bar line, um, for instance, in measure at the end of measure six. Um, you have a tie, a, excuse me, a phrase marking at the end of measure six would be a really good opportunity to make sure you have enough air to get through that register change, which also crescendos into the loudest part of this portion of the etude. So I think the biggest challenge would be breathing, making sure that every breath that you get counts, making sure you're sounding as beautiful as you can throughout. Um, we're going to want to hear a very pretty sound because uh, we want to capture and hear that lyrical playing that um, the trumpet can acquire and can sound like. So through that, keeping those rhythms very strict, but singing through, sounding just beautiful and gorgeous, um, we don't want any bad sounds in any of this. Um, maybe a very, very slight taper and maybe slight, although it's not written, but just pull back a tiny, tiny bit in those last few eighth notes you know, to give us a nice pretty sound. Let that last dotted half note resonate um, with a little bit of vibrato. Uh, enjoy. Okay, so for the technical part of this etude, we're looking at quarter note equals 132. And we want to make sure that all the rhythms are very, very, very clear. We have lots of different articulation and notations and make sure making sure that we're following all those to the t we've got accents from the beginning we've got some um, staccato notes written there's a few legato markings in there from time to time at the end of the first line at the end of the second line uh, where the a tempo comes back and bar the a tempo comes back in bar 15 but i'm looking specifically at bar the end of bar 18 there's a lone legato marking on a quarter note uh, on beat four so make sure that sounds different that should it almost leads into that next uh, downbeat um, and bar the, uh, the end of excuse me the middle of bar nine we have this immediate piano so we want to be all of a sudden 
You just drop it down to nothing because we're forte from that point. So we're black and white forte all the way down to piano and then a very slow gradual crescendo coming into the polka retardando and then a nice immediate a tempo. Make sure you get a good breath before you start the a tempo again. Don't rush into that. It's sort of the end of that phrase. Make sure you just be bum ba da be bum. Just make sure you're ready to go. Get off on that uh, right foot there. Um, and then you know for this one, outside of that rollantan or retardando there, everything should be very very rhythmic. Um, sticking to that 132. We want to hear lots of clean uh, rhythm and time throughout all of this. Um, very robotic in time and tempo. But of course, we want to hear some music. We want to hear some direction. We want to hear some phrasing. But that uh, very metronomic 132 needs to be there throughout. Um, so just be sure not to play too pecky and short through the staccatos. We don't want to hear anything short and, and gross like that. Always with good tone and open-ended uh, note at the end.